It could be some time before officials know what caused a fire at a low-level radioactive waste dump in Nye County that shut down a 140-mile stretch of Nevada's main north-south highway for almost 24 hours. A hazardous waste fire near Beatty is causing a lot of problems tonight, including schools and highways being closed. The words we heard from people that were stuck in the chaos were things like scared, worried, nervous, angry, some fearing for their lives. And while they were stuck in that, what they call chaos, they say they got either little information or some say they were flat out lied to. That fire started at the U.S. Ecology site, just about 10 miles from where I'm standing at 1 p.m. on Sunday. The concern is what was burning. The site has been used for three decades as a dump ground for low-level radioactive waste. And back in the 60s to the early 90s, that simply meant digging a trench and dumping the waste in it, then covering it with dirt. That fire and this weekend's flooding prompted concerns for leaks or air quality. The fire was allowed to burn itself out as crews could not use water on the potentially toxic material. Then government helicopters flew overhead to test for radioactivity. Ground crews did as well. Of course, there were people waiting in their cars didn't know any of that. They say they were told a much different reason for the traffic jam. They told us that it was debris over the road, and then we found out that it was actually a nuclear waste fire. Do you get nervous? Yeah. Uh, what's the, what, you, what kind of fear goes through your mind? That we're going to die. Uh, what's the, what, what kind of fear goes through your mind? That we're going to die. And you heard right there, that's not mincing words. They thought they were going to die. In a conference call Monday night, State Fire Marshal Chief Peter Mulvihill said investigators would be taking a close and methodical look at the site once it is safe to go down there. He said it's still too early to know what might have sparked the fire, which was reported about 1 p.m. Sunday in one of the site's low-level radioactive waste disposal trenches and was allowed to burn itself out over the course of about 12 hours. Concerns about possible contamination from the fire prompted authorities to cancel school in the nearest town of Beatty and close US-95 from State Route 160, about 70 miles northwest of Las Vegas, to the Nye County seat of Tonopah, 210 miles northwest of Las Vegas, about 7 p.m. Sunday. U.S. ecology officials said they created an exclusion zone around the facility at the request of state regulators, but storms in the area Sunday night delayed efforts to survey the site from the air. Federal aircraft that can detect radioactive particles conducted flights Monday morning, followed by a detection team on the ground that started in Beatty, 10 miles to the north, and rocked its way to the waste facility. Now it is fair to say there's a level of panic out here. We tried to get off at the uh, Bella, Bella Vista Road or something like it said closed, so we thought we'd just try another route. Didn't say closed permanently. The U.S. Ecology site has served as a dump for low-level radioactive waste and other hazardous materials since the early 1960s. From 1983 to 1992, solid low-level radioactive waste, primarily from hospitals and university research labs, was buried there in dirt-covered trenches. It came from Nevada, Colorado, and New Mexico, the states that make up the Rocky Mountain Low-Level Radioactive Waste Board Compact, according to Leonard Slosky, the board's executive director. U.S. Ecology stopped accepting radioactive waste in 1992, but it still takes in about 100,000 tons of hazardous waste per year from out-of-state and in-state sources.